For some districts, hydrogen can be part of the energy supply concept. In this video, I show you how to plan and size a complex hydrogen system using the n pro tool. Hi and welcome to this n pro tutorial. I'm Marco and in this video I show you how you can use n pro to design and simulate a hydrogen system with fuel cell, electrolyzer and hydrogen storage. Let's have a look at how that works in n pro On the start page of the tool we click on the left hand side on Energy Hub. Here we choose a project template to create a new project. It's actually not really important what you choose here because you can um, change the system afterwards. Um, here we have a heat demand. We will uh, use electric heater to cover the heat demand. An electrolyzer, a hydrogen storage, a hydrogen demand. Um, and we will um, go into the parameters of the electrolyzer because we want to use the waste heat from the electrolyzer to also cover the hydrogen demands. Sorry, it was wrong. Electrolyzer. Um, waste heat recovery, 20% is going into the uh, is waste heat, 65% uh, is uh, electricity, uh, is, uh, sorry, is hydrogen. Um, and if we activate this uh, checkbox, then we see that uh, we have another energy flow here from the electrolyzer to the heat demand. And um, with this setup, um, I will increase a little bit the electricity price and then I say size technologies and um, the calculation now determines the uh, optimal um, configuration and the optimal sizing of all components and let's have a look what we get here uh, photovoltaic around 6100 square meters uh, electric heater is um, uh, sized according to the heat demand more or less the electrolyzer sized according to the uh, hydrogen demand and the optimization says no uh, storage in this case. Um, we could um, increase the capacities if we want to. I will do this for the PV um, and say then simulate system operation. Um, with the results of the simulation, we can then analyze how the um, components are operated during the year. Um, we have here the photovoltaic. Um, the electric heater covers most of the um, heat demand. The waste heat from the electrolyzer is rather small. Mm. And uh, if we go down, we can have a closer look at the operation. We can click on heat map. So that's illustration which shows the hour of the day plotted against the all days of the year. We see that the PV generation um, happens in summer during uh, during the day, obviously. Um, and if we click on uh, electrolyzer, then uh, we see the operation of the electrolyzer. And since we don't have any hydrogen storage, the electrolyzer follows directly the hydrogen demand. So the hydrogen demand um, looks the same as the operation of the electrolyzer. I can show this quick here energy demands and if I go to hydrogen demand so this is our example profile that we are using um, this looks like the uh, operation of the electrolyzer uh, summary if I click on summary we get an overview of the main KPIs for example the electricity generation 56% is covered with the photovoltaic 44% um, with the um, with electricity from the grid, uh, the heat generation 91% uh, are covered with the electric heater and 8.8 .8 with the electrolyzer. We also have an overview of the CO2 emissions and the primary energy. The specific factors for both can be um, modified in the settings of the optimization. I now click on in economic results. Here we see that the system is not profitable, so the revenues are uh, smaller than the costs. Um, and here we see um, uh, different cost shares also according to this uh, cash flow table. Um, in this 
per table we see the accumulated cash flow over the years um, so from zero from year zero to year 20 um, and the net present value is negative um, after 20 years this is visualized also in this plot here um, and then we have uh, different lists of the different costs investments energy costs for importing electricity from the grid um, operation maintenance costs and the revenues um, the revenue for electricity feed in uh, we set this number um, in the optimization settings so this is fixed but um, the heat demand and the hydrogen demand um, the fact that we are covering these demands also leads to a revenue um, for the system operator so to say and we can change these numbers um, right here so we can say okay it's 20 cent per kilowatt hour um, and then for example the system would um, uh, would be more profitable i can now just increase it step by step and we see on the top here um, how the cash flow um, improves or increases and then we can see aha for this um, revenue it would be a profitable system now we can scroll down and see that the heat demand um, that we would need uh, a revenue or compensation of 32 cent per kilowatt hour um, for every covered kilowatt hour of heat um, so uh, that we reach here uh, a profitable profitability um, we can download results um, as well as an excel file um, in the excel file we have the economic results but also the time series for every component of the system and there we can then uh, use this to uh, create our own plots or to do uh, additional um, analysis if you have any questions or remarks about this video feel free to leave a comment if the video was helpful for you please give us a like and subscribe to our channel thank you for your interest and see you next time